It is no secret that Ryan Fitzpatrick is a favorite amongst fans across the entire NFL. The most entertaining journeyman quarterback in NFL history has played 16 seasons for eight NFL franchises. Whether it's Fitz magic or Fitz tragic, there is no denying that the burly gunslinger is going to lay it on the line every game for his team. In light of Fitzpatrick making it public that he wants to play in 2021, I am going to go over some reasons why the Bills should and shouldn't want to sign Fitz. At the end of the video, I'm going to reveal my top three backup quarterbacks that I think the Bills should pursue, not named Ryan Fitzpatrick that I think will be an immediate upgrade over Matt Barkley. Now, although we would all love for this to happen, this may come down to money. Last year, Ryan Fitzpatrick made over $5 million for one year, and the Bills might not want to sink that kind of money into their backup quarterback position, especially when they have Jake Fromm on a rookie deal. Yes, the Bills do have Jake Fromm on their team. He has had a year to learn the playbook, as an accomplished college quarterback, and a promising fifth round draft pick. He has started in a national championship game. He has played in big games in his career. The Bills could very well think that after a year of studying the playbook, Jake Fromm might be ready to step into the role of backup quarterback and not miss a beat. Think about it. The Bills really don't know what they have in Jake Fromm. He is much younger and he's on a rookie deal. That might be enough to deter them from going after Fitz. Also, Fitz might not want to come here. Over the years, Ryan Fitzpatrick has put himself in situations where he can play and potentially become the starter. A perfect example of that would have been Miami the past two years or Tampa Bay beforehand. You can go as far back as when he came to the Bills. He always put himself in a spot where there wasn't a solidified number one guy. Ryan Fitzpatrick is a competitor and I could see him wanting to be on the field opposed to standing on the sidelines. I think the Buffalo Bills should look at this option because it would be an immediate upgrade to the position. The Bills don't know what they have in Jake Fromm, but we do know that he has never played an NFL snap. The Bills are potentially one hit away from Jake Fromm starting multiple games for them. I don't think it's a good idea to bank on the guy who has never even suited up for an NFL game to be your quarterback mid-season if something were to happen. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is the best backup quarterback in the NFL. God forbid something did happen to Josh Allen, I would feel very comfortable with Fitz going into the game opposed to Jake Fromm. Ryan Fitzpatrick has also said publicly that Buffalo is his favorite place he has ever played. He's got a lot of love for this place. Once in a while, you'll see Fitz appearing at charity events. He has done multiple interviews about Buffalo since leaving and has nothing but good things to say. At this stage in his career, Fitz might just want to win a championship. In his 16 year career, Ryan Fitzpatrick has not been on a playoff team. A lot of guys late in their career do want to chase championships and the Bills are definitely a Super Bowl contender. If Ryan Fitzpatrick is comfortable taking a backup role on a team, what better place is there to do it than in a city you love on a Super Bowl contending team? Okay, as promised, my three backup quarterback upgrades not named Ryan Fitzpatrick. Three is Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles has been in the league. He started in big games. I think he would be a good addition to the quarterback room. Number two is Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen trains with Josh Allen in the offseason with Jordan Palmer. He's good enough where if Allen got hurt, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable with Kyle coming into the game. And that'd be sweet to have two Allens. And number one is Andy Dalton. Other than Ryan Fitzpatrick, I think Andy Dalton is the best backup quarterback in the NFL. Dalton has been somewhat tied to the Bills after helping break the 17 year playoff drought. You know the story. He's another guy if Josh were to go down that I would feel comfortable coming in for a stretch of games and not thinking the Bills season was automatically about to be over. That's gonna do it for me guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It does more than you think. Let me know if you want Fitz. Let me know if you want Kyle Allen, Andy Dalton, RG3, whoever. Or if you just want him to hang on to Matt Barkley. It's been real. Until next time, go Bills.